today's video, guys, I'm going to talk about a very specific tool, guys, which can disable so many background processes on your Windows PC that's literally crazy. It's going to give you such a huge FPS improvement. So therefore, you can turn literally like any old PC into a kind of gaming PC, you know? Like I literally managed to get on a GTX 460 stable 144 FPS with this one. So therefore, we're going to try it out, of course. And if you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me to say so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. What you guys want to do pretty much in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website guys and here on the top we have different categories you can by the way also afterwards maybe search for stretch resolution or some other season 2 packs but what we're going to focus today on is fps boost so we're going to click onto it you maybe get like a small pop-up ad and then you get redirected and yeah in here guys you have all my fps boost packs and here on the top it should be a new post guys with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now just simply click onto it scroll down and click onto download guys which is going to redirect you to google Drive. If it's not a zip file, it's like an ad or some Chrome extension, guys, don't download that one. Remember, guys, it has to be a zip file, which is gonna look exactly like this one here, Ultimative Windows Tweaker, and this one just recently got a new version, so therefore what we're going to do is right-click onto it and extract it all here onto our desktop, and it's gonna look exactly like this here. Then afterwards, we're gonna open it up and launch actually the program itself, and I know I already showed this like a month ago, guys, but as mentioned, they have a new tab in here, which is going to help us so much, so therefore I'm just gonna go over like the basic settings, which you should definitely do on any PC like I even utilize this program myself after each and every single Windows update so therefore what we're going to do in the first place is click on the performance and please make sure to copy all of my settings guys here how to end non-responsive programs restart shell automatically after some error increase priority of RAQ8 disable smooth scrolling disable edge tab preloading these are pretty much just like animations on your windows you know let's just say that you have like any unnecessary animations here on your windows they're just gonna get disabled which don't matter anyways because yeah you just want to game on your pc you know and then guys under security and privacy please make sure to copy all of my settings here guys super super important make sure to copy each and every single one disable user account control disable the auto login off then we have like disable timeline features turn off user tracking disable display personalization then we also have something like disable windows mobility center which you could theoretically also disable because yeah it doesn't matter like the more you disable guys you gotta think about the less processes are actually running in the background of your windows so therefore yeah the more you do the more fps you're going to get in games then next up guys we're gonna go here under privacy which has been overworked and you can see so much stuff guys disable telemetry biometrics um i don't know we got stuff like cortana here wi-fi sense app access to location stuff like that guys super super important yeah make sure to select each and every single one and then we're going to click here finally it's going to maybe like a restart your desktop real quick you know and then it's going to be all applied here super super nice guys then we can also go theoretically onto additional and make sure that you copy all of my settings here as well guys yeah super super easy just simply go through it real quick see if you have like the same settings if so click onto apply tweaks again and then afterwards you can actually close here the ultimate windows tweaker you can see now here since you have applied tweaks we recommend you to restart your computer i would actually recommend you to keep this program on your pc because yeah it's super super useful and then afterwards you just restart your pc as mentioned and we're done here with this tutorial and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have made say so much and if you still have any more questions for free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace